Plutonium Barbie. <coughs> Pirate Barbie. Because on this tune, on this Starfield tune, uh, I sided with the Crimson Fleet on it. So, uh, I made a little bit of a different ship with this one. <clears throat> and then my other one. On my other one, I made like a um a U-shaped ship, or a, well, not really a U. It's more of a more of a delta wing type thing, but it's a split delta wing. If that makes any sense. Whereas this one, I made just a big giant freaking square. Uh. I'm not going to do that one. I'm not, not going to do that mission. Because I need to do... I need to do... Uh, I need to do Barrett's missions on this one. I need to do Barrett's missions on this one. The reason I need to do that is because Barrett has, Barrett actually had, well, I need to do that one too. I need to do those. I mean, I guess I can do the Unity. That might get me to the point where I can do the Barrett mission. So we'll do that. We'll do that one so I can see if I can do the Barrett mission. Um, this way <clears throat> cuz I went ahead in I went ahead oh in the God. new game plus on the other one and I didn't get all my space skyrim powers so cuz there's one that Barrett sends you on to find and I didn't do that cuz in that one drip, uh, that one, oh, Barrett Mateo. got killed, but in it's this one, Barrett's still alive. Your parents, so, your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden. No, she <clears> figured that. Oh, oh, <coughs> that's <clears throat> not keeper. When you talk, perhaps you should talk about this. In perhaps we should talk about this inside. Yes, we should. I know at some point before I start the last mission I can go to Vladimir and get all the rest but the one that Barrett sends you on is the only one that I couldn't get on the other one because Barrett got killed on the other one seriously keeper they bathe whoever huh. reaches the center in a light and then so you're saying you found huh. a, a place of contemplation and you received a gift? There have always been mysteries uh, he that didn't. I did. our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life... The Hunter is actually a different suspicions. version of this guy. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet... I found that out. The risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the other... The Hunter, the guy that killed the guy, is, is an evil version of... As an evil here. multiverse version of this guy. I think I can. 
If you're huh. willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, there's an old story, far older than huh. the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. Huh. In my story, the huh. pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part huh. of the truth. Then he goes to his final huh. resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation. Huh. But what if the story isn't a metaphor? Yes. Yes. Something must be there. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The enlightened okay. work out Fine, of the I'll well talk to the here. crazy people. The rune worshippers are more. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be with. I'll stay here with the keeper. Uh -huh. We need to catch up. Okay. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Okay, you do that. I'm gonna go talk to the people. Come on, Andreja, let's go. Come on, darling, let's go. We gotta go talk to some people. We gotta go talk to a prisoner and a crazy priest. Cult leader. Excuse me. We gotta go talk to a cult leader and a, 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 a prisoner. So let's go do cult leader first, I think. Oh, wait a minute. She wants me to talk to her. About something. If you are free soon, could we talk? I sure, let's do it right now. Let's get it out of it. Let's get it over with. There is no way to properly thank. Huh. As am I. As grateful as I am. No, there is not. Nope. I know. We all know. Sarah's loss is a huge blow to Constellation. Yes, it is. I know you are grieving. We all are. Huh. But revenge should not be our prime. Sarah's priority revenge was always is Constellation. always a motivation. She would not want us lashing out in revenge. We will press on. We will continue our search, and we will learn. Now we truly huh. know the stakes are too high to do anything else. Yes. All right. Now, let's go talk to. Let's go talk to the crazy people, the crazy cult people. Actually, I think we're probably closer to the prisoner. No, that goes to the thingy. Thing of a bobber. Let's go this way. Oh no, this is a transit thing. All right, it's fine. We'll do it this. We'll do it this way. I need to get to the well. I need to get to the well anyway. And the jail is at the spaceport too. I think. First things first, let's go to the well. Have I got crap that I can sell? I just thought about that. Yeah. Ooh. I got that and that that I can sell, but I can't sell those here because the lady here won't take them. That one I can keep. That one I can keep. I don't really need that one. I need to sell that, but I can't sell it here. Can't sell that one here. That's a good one. A revenant. A Bridger. A Tonto. Unrestrained Vengeance. That ain't no good. Let's sell that one. Okay. I need a better boost pack. I'll sell that one. Sell that one. Come 
25% harder to detect. That's because I got chameleon on this one. Because I'm a pirate. I'm a pirate. Okay. To the well. Yeah, the, j the lady here, she won't take the stolen goods. And neither will the lady down here in the well. Neither will the lady down here in the well. They won't take stolen goods here. I have to get take them to the somewhere else. All right, let's go talk to the cult leader, dude. He's right here. Cult leader. Welcome. All right, How's cult leader. Man? If it's about let's, the financial. Let's have a little chat, dude. Oh. Uh, we understand yes. that you are busy, but this might be important. Anything you could tell us would be helpful. Listen, I've talked yes, about don't this make us torture you. a ton of times, and there's no record of a unity pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Mm -hmm. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first mm. house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity mm. case at first, but no. The Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's oh. own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really huh. looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. The second person this, the problem of two that. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Uh, Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. Yes, he has a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. All right. So the cult leader was a waste of time. You look like you need something. <coughs> Alright, let's go back up talk. Back up talk. Back up top now. And we'll go talk to the convict, to the prisoner. And hear her story. Go to the jail. Over here to the jail. Go talk to this prisoner. Through here, down you know here, down here. Me? Watch out, dude. Exactly where I saw myself. Exactly. All right here is the crazy Varun person. Mirza. Just, just, just. A visitor? There we go. I have all the company I need. She looks a little jacked up, man. He knows not the truth. <coughs> he sends another <coughs> to ask more incessant questions. Few are willing to accept the truth. But at least he has reached out to you. The great serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No <coughs> more, no less. Huh. If the Keeper has been <coughs> to see you, perhaps he has mentioned it? Yes, I have spoken to your Keeper about this. <laughs> I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. 
But such is Jinan's conviction mm. in the Great Serpent. He does not hesitate. He cuts the unbeliever down. But the unbeliever returns. Mm. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him. And he will not be found wanting. <coughs> Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the unbeliever says. Remember these 120 <laughs> rotations. That is all. That is all. Then we are done. Leave me. Hmm. All right, back to the keeper, dude. So we can tell him, so he can say, hey, wait a minute. I got an idea where you got to go. Dude's gonna say, "Hey, that's a there's a hint. I think I know where to." Send. He's gonna be like, "Hey, there's a hint. I think I know where to fucking send you now." So let's go do it. Let's go talk to the church guy. The church guy's gonna, the priest is gonna send us on a crazy mission. Well, not a crazy mission, but he's gonna send us to the other side of, other side of the world, other side of the universe. Go on a wild goose chase. Ugh, I got hiccups. Ba, 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 ba. Dude's whistling a little tune. He's whistling a little tune. Ba, 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 ba. That dude had an ugly looking hat. Look, that dude's got a creep, a crazy looking hat on. That's an ugly hat, and that shirt ain't much better. <clears throat> Man, this is the future's clothes, man. I feel bad. That sucks. They're awful. Nobody want to wear them crazy clothes. Uh, all right, let's tell this dude what we found. All right, dude. Oh, you're back. Yeah. Uh, if there really is a location that built, what else did you learn? Um. Uh, yes. Was there anything else? Sure. Hmm. Let's see. We have something, infinitum addendum. What if we break huh. down the parts? Break down the parts? Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum, at 4 and 120. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, How did you figure that shit out from that? The true meaning. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this. I know you're looking for a specific huh. unity, but. Uh, ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity who knows, man. is also a force that brings things to you. Well. And so you think this word... Where does one draw the line between science and revelation? Well, <laughs> I yeah, I pissed her off. Thanks. Gee, this thanks, dude. Been... I am. I'm going to go find my truth. I'd love to put a bullet in your head, but it's not you that I'm pissed off at. It's your crazy other universe self. If I shoot you, it won't take out your crazy other universe self so all right uh, let's fast travel to the thing to the thing to this right here to this one right here there we go 
my big box ship. Da -da 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 -da. A pretty decent ship on this one. Not exactly happy with the shape, but it'd be alright. Okay. We're gonna go right here. To this here spot. This is and this would be the Pilgrim's Rest. The dude's gonna find I'm gonna find four or five books. I mean this shit's actually not bad when I look at it, but I'm not really happy with it. But it'll be alright. Might tweak it eventually. I give it a little tweaky tweak. I give it a little tweaky tweak at some point. But not right now. <coughs> tweak the look of it anyway. The shape of it, I should say. Search for the clues. stuff on this one. A lot of resources on this planet. Thought I heard a ship. Maybe not. Someone made a concerted effort to survive here, and yet it would seem it did not work out. It sure does. There's a book. The temperature is unreasonably low here. We should not stay long. Agreed. Here's a dude's weed farm. Book. Dude's weed farm. I picked up something I didn't. Let's get rid of it. I don't need it. It's a waste of space. Not that one, but that. Drop that. Technically, I don't need that either. It's not right now. I do need the books, though. I just had to remember what the things are. The answers to the questions that are in this here building. Boost pack, do not need that one. Take the digi pig. Don't need 
those. There's the book. Alright, now we gotta break into the guy's room. His little, little uh, crazy, crazy room here. This one, myself, um, I think it was this one. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Final piece of the book. Money. Nothing in here. I need that little magazine right there. Ballistic weapon damage. Uh, not really nothing there. No, nothing there. Alright, so we got our destination now because of the crazy dude. Get back on the bird. Rahilatu. And doing it with the story this time won't jack it up like I did before. I skipped half the story going doing here doing this one time. And it screwed up my entire game. I had to delete it and start from scratch. It was very fucking annoying. It's very fucking annoying. But I learned from my mistake and didn't do it again. Alright, so scan the planet. Oh, I've already scanned the planet. Okay. Gonna land this bird right here. And we're gonna walk over to this little crazy spot that's got this light with a constellation lit lit lit. lit. Right there in front of me, as a matter of fact. Some crazy bugs. Once again, we are triumphant. Yes, once again, we are triumphant. Some more crazy bugs down here in the way. Some connection to the creatures in the area. What could it mean? Agreed. Something a little more punch in it. Hmm. 
I need some more ammo. Get that little beam of light over there. So we click this one first, and that one again. This one, this one, and then back to that one. Nope, not that one. I need it to end right. I need it to land right there. Oh, I need to go back one. Okay, I need to go up one. That should do it. All right, Andres, you, you, you baby, you in the way. There we go. There we go. It's a planet. It's a planet. Right there. There's the planet. The little thingy shows me where to go. We need to go right there where that little thing says. Where's it at? Here it is. It's right there. We're going to go here and we're going to get pissed off. We're going to talk to the dudes. The hunter who I just want to kill. This guy right here. You better because I'm gonna annihilate your ass. There's another star born here who is very interested in meeting you. Huh. I can speak for myself. Yes, the emissary is Barrett. The hunter is the the priest guy that I just left. I'm gonna kill you. Good. See, we can all get along from now on. Yes, because I'm gonna kill your asses in a little while. It won't let me destroy their ship, unfortunately. I tried. It won't let me destroy their ship. And it won't let me kill them. No matter how many times I've tried, it won't, it won't do it until you get to the part of the story where you do it. There's a part in the story where you face them both, or where you can face them both. You have to choose sides, or choose to go it alone and kill them both. This is where they showed her face to you. Hello again. <laughs> Do you remember the emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix? 
I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is Well, actually, because I've done this one differently, Before it might came, not be fair. We were just we'll find out. continued use of force against you is unwise. <laughs> I don't think your patient counselor act is working on them. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. Yeah. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The emissary yeah. threatened your ship. Demanded your hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For Good, then I just need to kill you all. Exactly. I say whoever can collect them should. Huh. Good. Hold on to that determination. <laughs> Because you're about to learn there's a higher prize at stake. The unity. Huh. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. You've really come a long way since the Welcome to Constellation speech, haven't you? Oh, it switches. It's the one that dies. Okay. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, uh -huh. I was the one who ran to the Eye. I left you behind to protect the artifacts, and the hunter killed you. One of me, at least. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the unity. Huh. When I stepped into it, I became a starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. Hmm. They are all connected. Hmm. And that's the problem. All hmm. the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted mm. by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. Mm. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. Mm. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. Mm -hmm. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. Mm -hmm. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. Mm -hmm. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? Mm -hmm. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for yeah. a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this Damn far. Damn right. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. Hmm. Bingo. Hmm. I want a true 
truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the hunters. Yes. Let's see how or willing my own. you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. <laughs> no, just trying to kill me. The unity is meant for whomever can get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. Hmm. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize hmm. is access to the center of all creation. All right, ma'am. There are no I'm rules. Gonna take off here in a little Whoever bit. Gets too. all the pieces wins, and I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Mm -hmm. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances. I'll admit you getting away mm -hmm. has been the most interesting. As soon as I realized what had happened, mm -hmm. I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. That it's bad mm -hmm. habit. But you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a mm -hmm. random die roll. Or maybe the unity is finally respond. <laughs> to see what would happen, of course. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the emissary. Mm. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through constellation, and it's almost never you. You making it, I took it as a sign. Mm. I don't get many of those anymore. Mm. They enter the unity, take artifacts from others, employ... I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with mm. their gifts. That is your decision. The emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the unity... Mm. Okay. I'm gonna kill you later. I know we are not the same people we met in our universes. Still... Yeah. It is good to see you again, old friend. It's not an easy experience mm. to describe, but the Unity will speak to you. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Maybe that's mm. why it offers the choice. Compassion. Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version, but so mm. much of you stays the same. It's hard. But each universe is precious in its own way. Mm -hmm. You've seen the terror the hunter causes. Every time a yeah. starborn goes through the unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, mm -hmm. gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called mm -hmm. the Armillary. Through it, you can reach the unit. Okay. I'll kill you both later. I'll kill you both later and take this ship. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact. But also, a seek the She's going to send me to Earth. Earth. There are secrets that mm. here. And I am sorry we have not always mm. been. I hope you will see what I... You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information. Part of me wonders what they will all say mm. about what you have learned. Oh. Uh. Alright. Let's go back to the lodge. 
Yes, I'd love to destroy them right here and there. Right here and now. But it won't let me. Sadly. Sadly, it won't let me. Oh, that reminds me. I've, I need to put a point in... This one. Convince five ships to surrender. <coughs> I have to do that one in the Mantis ship. Mantis ship is realistically the only one that'll make them surrender. Surrender. Have a favorite restaurant here? Mine is currently Whetstone, but it changes. Yes, it changes. It's always changing. Nothing else. Ever changing. Does have excellent lodging. Yes, it do. Hey, I've been talking with you know. Thank you. Yes. I'll have everything set up in. Yes, good deal. Service, a few days. Barrett. Neon. You'd think it would be peaceful with all those, but I can't think of any time. And there you were. Uh... Humanity went to the stars, and not sure if I should laugh. Look, I know Neon is going to be Neon, no matter what it but you just huh. let them keep working on that neural amp tech? Really? Well. Oh, don't you dare. Science huh. is a method, a tool for understanding why things, what they are doing is driven by corruption. Science doesn't exist to control well. people. That's asinine. But if the bottom line is money, then this isn't, it'll be used to dominate. Probably. Sure, there are benefits. But if they are the hands holding this hmm. technology, just the ones who could pay. And it, I understand wanting to hope for the best. But uh -huh. Anyway, not that I care a ton about the internal politics of some ethically dubious man. So, Masako, huh? Uh -huh. I mean, between her and Ularu Chen, I get it, but... You don't trust her, do you? Of course not. Well, I trust you. And I'm glad the choice was yours and not mine. Anyway, you didn't happen to pick up any investment tips while you were in there. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't even want to know. <laughs> hey, uh, let's not stick around the lodge too long. We should get out there. Yeah, we'll do that in a minute. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's <clears throat> voyage. You found it, didn't you? Sure did. Wait, say that again? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Hate to be the responsible one, hmm. but the big bombshell of what we're actually building here might need another second to sink in. Want to go over this whole <laughs> multiple universe thing for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more deep. Hmm. Explains why the Starborn want the artifacts so bad. Get them all hmm. and you've got a gateway to infinity. I don't even want to think about the uh -huh. physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. 
plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the you have the opportunity <laughs> to reach the yeah, closest dude. thing to the your hunter's God your priest guy. Exist. And you're second guessing? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. Hmm. You're right. <laughs> we have to see the unity for ourselves. You know it. And once everyone's head stops spinning from all of this, we can get back to work. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it... Hmm. <laughs> These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remain. Catch a smile out there. Wouldn't mind burning some helium out in the fringe instead of. Finally. If you get into trouble, Barrett, you know where to find me. Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, I think Absolutely. Barrett. Everyone seems more distant in the lodge. I guess they're. Of course. Are you? You two go on. I have academic journals to review, and the galaxy's cheesiest hoagie to devour. An interesting mix of activities. <laughs> I hope they are both enjoyable. They will be, probably. Lodge has wounds that need healing. What the hell? With Crix's legacy, oh, I thought Lord. for sure you were going to turn it over to Sis Death. Instead, you're delivering an insane fortune to the Crimson Fleet? Why'd you help them? Uh... Really? And that's worth it to you? With all those damn well... credits, the fleet is going to be a literal plague for years. Hell, decades. Anyone that travels space is going to be in danger. That includes people like Sarah, Barrett, the whole gang. You know, our people. Did you even think about that? Hmm. That's... That's just cold. I've done <laughs> things I'm not proud of, but I've never, never done anything like this. Till now. I... I just can't stand to look at you right now. Can we I have a moment? Can we talk? things it's fine. I wish to discuss with you. Sam, when you have time. Serious, Before I say anything else, I want... When I first came here, I... I know that you hmm. told me you were not going anywhere. But I still worried. There's no precedent for hmm. any of this. A romantic relationship not within the bounds of Barun culture, I mean. Hmm. I know, and I love you for that. The point I am trying to get to is hey. that I believe I have an idea. A way I... Hey. I was hoping that would be your response. This is between you and me, and no one else. You know who I am. I do not need to explain myself to you as I want to be able to focus on. So as soon as you are ready, I want us to travel together to the second planet in the Shosa system. Sure. All right. Let's go get, 
me and the Andrejas are going to go get hitched. We're going to do that mission. Because we need to go ahead and get the hitching done. So let's go get the hitching done. And then we'll focus on the other stuff. Alright, where is this, where's the dot at? It's up here. Alright, she's got me going up here. <coughs> there we go. She's got me going here. I'm going to go get whatever she's got planned in order for the hitching. The hitching is going to take place. Darling, there is you brought me here. I can offer to show you how much I care, how much you mean to me. Whatever House Varun deems proper could not work because you are not House Varun. And whatever marriage traditions you might have would not be appropriate for me. Hey. And that is why we are here. This place why are we here? where we stand now is the first place I was brought upon leaving my city, Basra. The first time I had ever left my home planet. As you know, I was never allowed to know the way back home. That frightened me. But at the same hey. time, I was suddenly aware of not just one planet, but a whole universe I had never seen. That is a hey. feeling I had not experienced again until I met you. Hey. Hey. It was, yes. Nothing in my life had truly prepared me for that moment. Just as nothing could ever have prepared me for you. But there is more. Buried here is something of great value to me. Something I wish you to have. It is best, I think, if you are the one to retrieve it. Okay. I'm gonna go dig something up. <laughs> no, you certainly have not. There uh -huh. is a reason for that, and I hope when I explain why, you will understand what this means. In my culture, every child is entrusted with a pet groat. They are domesticated creatures okay. native to my planet. Smelly, cantankerous. But their milk is a staple of our diet. We it's like a goat. The groat. We care for it. We milk it. And when we come of age, we slaughter the groat and fashion its skull into a dagger. <laughs> it is a lesson. Through this <laughs> growth, we are shown the connection that we have to the Great Serpent. That all things serve the Serpent and can be tools for his use in more ways than one. Fascinating. <laughs> I am glad that you can appreciate that. 
Hmm. Every member of House Varun has a dagger like this. We are instructed to keep them at our side at all times. The Great Serpent is always with hmm. us, as is the danger of those who defy and oppose him. But a constant connection to the Great Serpent is a liability to those of us sent out into the settled systems. So when hmm. we first leave our home, we hide it. Hmm. I am proud. I have always been. But my mission hmm. dictated that my origins remain concealed. So for years, this dagger has remained buried here, hidden from the world. But now, I believe you should have it. With it. I hope you can understand that I trust you completely. That I know you will care for this the way you care for me. And that we are connected in a way that is now truly unique in the settled systems. In all of creation, I love you and I am <laughs> yours. Wholly and completely. <laughs> And I know that I would not have brought you here otherwise. Ooh, now, surely there is some other grand adventure that awaits us. We should go and meet it head on. We just got hitched. Woohoo! Alright, so let's take a look at this here knife. It's your goat head knife. It's a knife. It's a knife made out of a goat's head. Wow. Crazy looking knife, man. Made from a goat's head. Fascinating. That's a crazy looking knife, man. Huh. All right. We got it. We are now hitched. We're all hitched up, man. I am grateful for our time together, always. Do you want to hear me say that you make me deliriously mm -hmm. happy? Because you do. <laughs> then I shall be sure and tell you more often, darling. All right. Now we've gotten hitched. Let's get back to the mission at hand. All right. So, first things first. Let's go do... this one let's go to earth to, or to the moon we're gonna go to the moon man the moon we're gonna go to the moon on the moon is gonna have to wait until next time because I am gonna call it a day I'm gonna call it right here all right with that being said I want to thank everybody who's hanging out with me tonight I appreciate it thank you thank you thank you if you hadn't already done so hit that follow button for that way you know every time I go live come on back in hang out with me again <laughs> I do it every Tuesday Thursday Saturday 8 p.m. Eastern East Coast time. Your time zones accordingly. Usually up until about 11. <clears throat> Sometimes a little bit earlier. It just depends on how I feel. Of course, with me being sick and under the weather, 
blue under the weather this week. I am <clears throat> going to go ahead and call it early. Um, but I do appreciate everybody hanging out with me if you hadn't already. So if you hadn't already done so, uh, click the follow button. And uh, come on back in and hang out with me again. Um, till then, I will see everybody on Saturday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Everybody comes back and hang out with me again. Uh, until Saturday rolls around, everybody have a great rest of your week and a great upcoming weekend. Until then, peace out.